Hello there vinyl community and YouTube, Jorgen S here uh, with another vinyl and CD update. Uh, Sweden and or should I say Sundsvall today is a uh, little snowy, actually it's been snowing a little bit. Uh, so uh, I'm actually very happy, I'm not a huge fan of snow all that much, but I want a white Christmas and this gives hope for a white Christmas. Uh, I don't think that this one will, will, will actually last long, but, but uh, it gives hope that it might be a white Christmas somewhere down the line. So, uh, November, vinyl and CD update. November hasn't been all that good. Uh, I haven't found all that much actually. So hopefully this will not be all that long. But um, uh, I'm not crying myself to sleep over that because I've been finding so much during this past year so I have quite enough to listen to anyway from earlier so so, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty okay with the fact that it hasn't been all that much new stuff in the collection this month as long as it doesn't become a, a habit I have uh, four full-length vinyls four CDs and three vinyl singles to show and uh, starting with the CDs, this one was I was very surprised to find in a tobacco store that we have actually, uh, a store that also sells uh, second-hand CDs. Uh, most of them are in pretty bad shape, uh, some of them so bad that you can hardly play them in a CD player. I don't understand why the devil they think that they can sell uh, used CDs for two dollars without even checking and removing those who can barely be played. But I managed to find one CD that was in a pre very good shape and that was a quite a good catch since it was a double CD. Uh, greatest Hits of uh, British uh, New Wave Synth Pop Legends Heaven 17. Uh, I said before that I uh, Heaven 17 is not my absolute favorite New Wave band. Uh, they have sometimes a little too strange melodies for, for, for my taste. But some are, actually, I was very happy to find this one because uh, they made some, some really good songs anyway. And since this is a double CD, and the other side, as you can see here, uh, one of them, one of the C uh, CDs, or of course, the actual CD, and the other one is a DVD uh, containing all their videos. So, so uh, I was very happy to find this one anyway, and uh, I'm not saying that they're all that bad. Uh, they, they have some really good tracks. I love, really, really love the, the album How Men Are. I think that is their absolute best album by far. Sunset Now, This Is Mine, That's No Lie. Awesome songs. Uh, Temptation is, is actually a good song. So, so they've done some great songs, and I'm very happy to have this one. Now to uh, the jewels of my findings this year, that I, those that I was happiest to find. A couple of jazz CDs that I uh, am searching long for. Uh, I've been talking earlier in earlier videos about uh, that one of my absolute favorite jazz big band leaders is uh, Boyd Rayburn. Uh, a very forgotten name that uh, did uh, combined uh, traditional big band with the elements of modern classical music and uh, created a very modern big band style for for its time. Uh, and uh, it's very hard to find albums with Bill Boyd Rayburn. I've been showing uh, one uh, that I paid nine dollars for, uh, and uh, I have another one. Uh, radio show uh, on vinyl and this month I was able to find a CD with Boyd Rayburn. Can, can you imagine how happy I was to actually for only two dollars find a, a real Boyd Rayburn album. Uh, this is uh, the performances from the radio show Jubilee 
uh, from 1946, Jubilee performances, 1946. Some of these songs here I have on the other vinyl, as I mentioned, the radio performance that I mentioned before. Uh, however, that one is a show, in, uh, a complete show, without any breaks, without any, what they haven't been uh, toning out uh, the, the, the between the songs. They have the, the concert in, in its entirely. Uh, this one uh, is uh, unfortunately not entire shows. These are mixed shows from 1946. However, it's containing 22 tracks. It's actually more than 12 songs that I actually don't have uh, that were not is not on my vinyl version. So I still in use for this one anyway. So I'm extremely happy to find a CD with this very hard to find big band leader. Uh, I haven't said it before, but uh, I'm a huge fan of the Marx Brothers. Uh, I think that they are my kings of comedy. I really love their, their moves. I think I've seen all their movies with exception from uh, their final one, Love Boat, that they did with uh, Mally Monroe. That's the only Marx Brothers movie that I haven't seen. Uh, for instance, I think that uh, Night at Opera is actually one of, is one of the best movies I've ever seen. Uh, and I'm not kidding. Uh, however, what few people know actually is that the piano playing brother, Chico Marx, actually had a dream of having his own big band. Uh, and it came true during a few years in the 40s. He had a big band with uh, not all too much familiar names, with the exception of Mel Torme. Uh, but uh, he did some uh, recordings and uh, did some uh, radio shows and so on. Uh, and uh, the record label Laser Light Digital actually has done some good releases and also done some really bad releases. It's a low budget uh, label that uh, you never know from time to time whether they are good or not. However, this time they really struck gold when they decided to release this CD, Big Bands of Hollywood, uh, with uh, radio recordings from uh, two actors who led uh, big bands during the 40s. Desi Arnaz, uh, I think that many of you uh, out there in the vinyl community who knows who this actor is, I'm not all that familiar with him. Uh, however, it's not the best part. I don't think that Desi Arnaz Orchestra is quite as good as an orchestra. However, it is live recording, a live show, so I'm happy for it anyway because I love live jazz. Uh, however, it also contains a concert with Chico Marx and his orchestra. Uh, it's very hard to find rec these recordings with Chico Marx and his orchestra. And finally, I've been able to find uh, recordings with him and, uh, on a, a physical format. I think this is the first time that I have a, a Marx, uh, something Marx brother related on, on any album, uh, vinyl or CD uh, at all. So, so uh, I'm very happy for this one. You can hear Chico Marx talking, you can hear him playing around with with, with the, the announcer and, and uh, it's really, really very good concert. Uh, the song Pagliacchi has followed me since my childhood years because I have a couple of tape recordings from radio with them. So the song Pagliacchi, highly recommended. It's, it's really, really filled with so much energy. So I'm very, this one is really, really, I was really happy. Uh, some Scandinavian viewers may be a little surprised that I have a band that I actually liked. Uh, uh, since I don't, um, I don't listen all that much to the modern disco uh, schlager music that right, uh, nowadays is on almost every Eurovision Song Contest too. Uh, however, there is a band that I, is one huge exception that I actually do have learned to love very much for the past couple of years. And it is a girl group 
called Timotei. Uh, Timotei is, uh, what I like about them is the fact that they pl the mix uh, folk music with the uh, Swedish disco music uh, in a very, very great way. Uh, I can't resist their fantastic production, the, the beat and uh, the girl's way of playing accordion, violin, mandolin and so on. And then they're actually really, really good musicians. They sing very good too. So uh, it's going to be interesting to listen to the entire album with these girls. Uh, vinyl singles. I said I had three of them. Uh, I've been listening to all three of them actually. Jackson Brown, Somebody's Baby from 19... Uh, see here. It is a song from 1982. Uh, uh, really, really good song. I've been learning to like Jackson Brown very, very much for the past couple of years. Uh, Talked about I talked about the Eurovision Song Contest earlier. These girls, Timote, was famous for that. Uh, here is another one, a very much older Eurovision song. Cliff Richard, congratulations. And on the other side, High and Dry. Uh, not all that big fan of Cliff Richard, but since it is a Eurovision Song Contest song, I wanted it, even if it is very much overplayed. And uh, also this Count Basie and his orchestra, really, really great find. Uh, this from doesn't say where it's from, but it is actually, as you can see here, a French release. Uh, playing uh, Bluebeard Blues, Beaver Junction, Harwood Blues, and Bambo. Uh, so, and it's released on great final release on Colombia. So uh, this one is very great. It seems like an eternity since I bought a jazz EP. So going to vinyls, vinyl albums. Finally I was able to find a great Brazilian album. Uh, even though it is uh, uh, <laughs> very, very, very strange uh, Read release. Uh, this is Shao Gilberto and an album called Bo Bossa Nova Jubilee. Uh, and it is actually a German release. Uh, 25 Jahre Bossa Nova. Deutsche Pressung. Uh, very, very interesting. I've been listening to this one and it's very relaxing, it's very, very good. Good, to, really good to have a Shao Gilberto album. Uh, these are recordings from 1959 and to uh, 1961. Uh, and they uh, also have, among others, uh, Antonio Carlos Sublime actually on piano. So this one is really, really good. Highly recommended. Also, I was very happy to find this one. I think this is the final Talk Talk album. Spirit of Eden from 1988. Uh, I've been reading that this one may not be their best album. It is uh, very much more acoustic than the, the, their previous more synthesizer albums. But it's going to be very interesting to listen to it anyway. Mark Hawley's voice and, and uh, their melodies. It's going to be very, very interesting. And also starting to enjoy the music of Gilberto Sullivan. Uh, my 70s collection continues and I'm very really open to discover new musicians. So I bought this A Stranger in My Own Backyard from uh, 1974. Uh, released on MAM. Uh, really good, uh, really good and uh, unpredictable album. You never know which song that actually is uh, a relaxing song and which that is a, a little odder song. Uh, even though some of the lyrics are a little bit dated. Uh, a Woman's Place for instance. A little dated lyrics to say the least. But uh, However it's a really, really, really relaxing and great 70s pop album. And finally some Swedish 
music. Family Four, I've been showing the records with them before, uh, and their album Call It What You Will, Call It What You Want, uh, from 1974. Uh, very, very interesting and relaxing album. Quite odder and more, more experimental than, than uh, Family Four usually does. So, that was it. That was November. Not much, but uh, some really great quality instead. Uh, I have a lot to do in November for the vinyl community. I said I was going to do a response for Matthew Smith and a Will uh, before uh, the, the deadline. Uh, I, I have been doing an order from uh, the internet shop Ginza. Uh, so uh, and uh, that one will arrive soon so I will do a live opening of this one and uh, I uh, soon also will do uh, later on the end of the month uh, year in review as I did last year so there's going to be a whole lot uh, to do in the month to come so uh, until next time I hope that you have a very nice continuum of the week and so long <laughs>